Well, this is probably the last time I'll talk about Melba Ketz and, you know, at least in, unless something major comes up in the future. Uh, it's been about three weeks or so since her report was released on de novo. Uh, and I took a wait and see attitude and I, I still feel that that was a proper thing to do. Uh, but the longer we go, the, the worse and worse it looks. You know, in the Sasquatch community especially, there's way too many people that are eager to call somebody a liar and a hoax. Uh, I don't know what they gain out of doing that. Uh, I don't see anything to gain. And I don't want to be one of those people because I don't know if this is the, you know, the case here or not. Uh, but, you know, having let this set for a couple of weeks to see what the scientific community says, in response to Ketchum's paper, uh, the input hasn't been good, let's say that. I, I haven't heard uh, one reputable scientist come forward and say, yeah, uh, this looks good, uh, the methodology looks sound, the results look good. In fact, I've heard quite the opposite. Uh, the other thing that's troubling is just how closely tied this seems to be uh, to the videos and photos of Adrian Erickson. Again, I don't know Adrian Erickson. I, I'm not going to say anything disparaging about him either. But it is kind of troubling when you see this little tidbit of a, a video of sleeping Matilda, as they call it, which is supposed to be a, a sleeping Bigfoot laying on the ground in front of the camera. Uh, it certainly doesn't look convincing to me. Uh, since then, we've had these uh, Wookiee photos come out, if you want to call them that. Uh, whether they are genuine photos actually from the collection of Adrian Erickson, I don't know, uh, but it certainly compared side to side looks like somebody took a Wookiee mask and maybe dyed the hair a little darker. Uh, I heard Jeff Meldrum comment on that in the last couple days about how he saw the video before. Uh, he wasn't convinced that it was necessarily all that, but he couldn't put his finger on it until he saw this side-by-side -side comparison with the Wookiee mask. And uh, so, you know, I certainly respect uh, whatever Jeff Meldrum has to say on the subject. So, you know, the only thing that troubles me about this is that, uh, you know, it, Matt Moneymaker has, has come out and said that he's seen the, the Erickson videos and it seems genuine to him. Now, Matt Moneymaker, I, I do not know why he would, you know, come out in support of a hoax or, or you know, lie on purpose uh, because he's got an awful lot to lose. I mean, he's got a great hit TV show, uh, probably making more money off of that than he ever thought possible in his field. I cannot think of a reason why he would jeopardize all that uh, to come out and, and speak up on behalf of a, what he believed to be a hoax. So there, there is some hope that there's a genuine film out there that is quite convincing. The question is, why haven't we seen it? You know, we've heard, we've been through this for like five years now, waiting for this DNA study and waiting for these Erickson photos. They're supposedly supposed to be made into some kind of documentary that's going to change the world. Well, where is it? It does not take five years to make a documentary film. It just seems to be more of the same. Talk about what you got without actually showing it. And when you do show it, it's underwhelming. I'm sure someday we'll get something better than this. Uh, it's just kind of discouraging and seems like more of the same. Anyways, cheer up. Till next time, SasquatchCamp.com. Thank you.